We've been talking about coordinate geometry. But there are some points that we didn't understand when we are talking about coordinate geometry. Now, I've written some questions here, which are five of them. There are five questions which will I represent to you as a revision. That's why he have written coordinate geometry, revision. The question number one is find the gradients of each of the following pairs of the points. The first point we have negative two comma negative four. The second and then two comma four. B we have negative five comma negative five and negative five comma negative four. Now we are looking for the gradients. As I've been telling you, the gradient means a slope. So, a formula for calculating the gradient is to say solution. Gradient that is means a slope is equal to change in y over change in x. Yes. And when I say change in y over change in x, I mean y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. If you consider a now here, we have points here, negative 2, negative 4, and then we have 2, and then we have 2, then comma what? Comma 4. From the points, these are called x's. These are along x-axis. This is x, y, and this is x, 2. This is y, 1, this is y, 2. Now we have x, 1, this is equal to negative 2, and we have x, 2 is equal to 2. And then we have y, 1 is equal to negative 4, and then we have y, 2 is equal to negative, I mean is equal to 4, sorry. Now from the point, we have two points here. This is the first point and this is the second point. Remember, coordinate geometry. What I written first is the <coughs> x-axis. We just read from the x-axis first, and then what next is the y-axis. That is to say, today this is x and this is y. This is the x, this is y. This is the x, this is y. This is the x, this is y. You can choose as you wish. If you think this is x1, you call this is x2. If you think this is x1, you, this is x2. And that's why here I've written, we have x1, which is equal to negative 2, which is here. Then we have x2, which is equal to 2. You get it? Which is here. And then we have y1, which is equal to negative 4. And then we have y2, is equal to 4. X inandikwa kwanza. Tunapokuwa tunasoma majira, X inandikwa kwanza. Halafu Y ndo inafayeke? Inandikwa pili. Kwa tunasoma majira nukta, kwanzea kwenye X, tunanzea kwenye X axis, tunakuja kwenye nini? Y axis. And that's why we said the first number represents X axis, and the second number represents Y axis. So here, we have this one. Now, from the formula here, we have said, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Substitute the fact that we have got them here. It is just over here. Now y2 is what? 4 minus y1 is negative 4. Remember the signs. Remember the signs. Kumbuka zile alama. If it is negative, negative must be there. Do you understand? Now that's why I said 4 minus negative 4. Then here it is 2 minus negative 2. Negatives are written. Negatives are what? Are written. Lazima negative uziandikwe. Usposiandika negative, you have a problem. You cannot represent your number if you have not written a negative sign. Because negative are considered B. You get it? Now, according to the principle of integers, according to the principle of integers, you will find here negative times z negative. If it will know as so we just want to remain with a single sign here. Between the numbers, we just want to remain with a single sign. Now, how do we move the other sign? We multiply those signs. And that's why here it is negative times negative is positive. Negative times negative is what? Positive. And that's why we have 4 plus e. 4, and then here we have 2 plus 2. Now the numerator is equal to 8. The sum of the numerators is equal to 8. And the sum of the denominator is equal to what? 
before. As I said, when we were dealing with fraction ascend, the number above the segment line is called the numerator, and the number below the segment line is called the denominator. Now we have 80 numerator as numerator, then we have 4 as denominator. Now, according to the principal division, to divide the two, it is all about it. Simplify this number. That is numerator divided by what? Denominator. That is 80 divided by what? By 4. And that's why we can say, we can conclude by saying, the slope now is equal to 2 because 80 divided by 4 is equal to what? <coughs> that is how we find out the slope of hmm? a straight line. Do you understand? I'll say this is the very important formula to understand. Gradient is obtained by taking the change in y over change in x. Now, y2 minus y1, that is change in y. And x2 minus x1, that is change in x. And therefore, let us see b. Now we have seen b, now we have seen a. Now let us see b. b is just like here, as you can see from here. Now, this is B. B, gradient, the formula for calculating the gradient of a line. It is the same, same, wherever you go. Whether you walk to Europe, to Kenya, wherever you go, it's the same, same concept. Mathematics is one. The difference is all about the language. <coughs> now, you can see here, gradient is equal to changing in Y over changing in S. That is to say, change in y is equal to y2 minus y1. And change in the x is equal to x2 minus x1. Now from the point now we have that, we have negative 5 comma negative 5. This is the x, this is the y. The second point we have negative 5 comma negative 4. This is the x, this is the y. Now we have the first one, x, we have the second one, x. We have the first y and we have the second y. And that's why why we say x1 is equal to negative 5. five. And x2 is equal to negative 5. five. And then y1 is equal to negative 5. five. Here it is. And then y2 is equal to negative 4. Here it is. Now, if that is the case, we are looking for the value of a slope. I mean, we are finding the gradients. If you are finding the gradient, we have to substitute what we've been given to our formula. Lazima tuweke hizi hapa ambazo tumepewa kwenye kanuni yetu. Here it is. Now the value of y2 is negative 4 minus negative 5, that is y1. Then the value of y x2 is negative 5 minus negative 5. Now, according to mathematical principle, we are supposed to remain with a single sign between two numbers. To make you an alama, modia. Kama ni kutoa ibaki, kutoa. Kama ni kuzidisha ibaki, kuzidisha. Take care. Do you understand? And therefore, ukianza hapa, ili usiondoe. In order to remove one of them, you have to multiply those signs. Now here we have negative times negative, positive. Negative times negative, positive. And that's why we have negative 4, positive 5. Negative 5, positive 5. In the other language we say, this is negative 4 plus 5. This is negative 5 plus 5. Now according to mathematics, now negative 4 plus 5 is 1, and negative 5, positive 5 is what? Zero. Zero. In integers, in integers, you have to be very careful. We only understand or recognize which sign carries the bigger number. And that's why here we have written negative 4, positive 5 is 1. Now 1 divided by 0 is what? 0. That's why we say our slope, our gradient now is equal to what? Is? Zero. zero. That is how we determine the gradient of a straight line. A gradient of a straight line is obtained by taking the change in y over change in x. And change in y, that is y2 minus y1. And change in x, that is x2 minus x1. Those are the things that you might understand, you must understand. And this is a principle. And these principles are not according to me. It 
is according to the principle of marketing. Do you understand? Yes. Now that was the first question. Now you can find a gradient of any points that you've been given. Because this is an example. Now the second question is, is read us. Find the equation of a straight line through points. In your lesson notes, see, that is question number two. Find the equation of a straight line. Find the equation of a straight line through points. You've been given these points. These are the points that you've been given. This is A, this is B. Now, in order to find an equation, there are some sort of the principles that you might follow. You must follow those principles. Now, the points that we have, A, we have these points. And the equation is obtained after you have got the slope. Behind the argument after slope, don't ask you that after any equation. Yani behind the argument after any slope, don't pass us to ask you that after any equation. Come on, that after slope, there is no possibility of finding the equation if you have not got the slope. Now, a gradient of the slope must be there. And the principle that we have said from the first question, we have said we have learned much on how to find the slope of the equation. And that's why we say gradient is equal to changing y over changing x. Yes. Now we have y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. Now from 1, comma, 6 and 2, comma, x. We, we, here we find our points. Now we have x1, we have x2, we have y2, we have y, y1 and y2. Substituting these points from the equation, from the formula, means what? Now, 8 minus 6, that is x, y2 is 8, x, y1 is what? 6, 2 minus 1. Now, after we have that, now 8 minus 6 is 2, and 2 minus 1 is what? 1. Now, if that is the case, then after, after that, we have 8 minus what? 6. Then 2 minus 1, which is equal to 2 over what? Over 1. Which is equal to what? 1. 2 over 1 is equal to 1, to 2. Is it so? Now, the slope is equal to 1. Then, after you have, the slope is equal to 2, sorry. After you have got the slope of the question. After you have got the slope of the equation, now what next? You have to find the equation. Now the equation is given like this one. This is the formula on how to calculate the equation of the straight line. You get it? Now, from here, we have y minus y, y. Then, x minus x, y. That is to say, in order for you to find the equation, if you put the equation, last no you the slope, you take the slope, then you equate it, manate in kwamba, you make it equal to y minus y, 1. x minus x, 1. y and x, these are unknown variables. These are unknown what? Variable. And that's why we are not supposed to write anything over there. Because there is no value of x, there is no value of y. And that's why the slope we have got is 2, we have written as here. Now, y1 was 6, x1 was 1, and that's why we have 2 is equal to y minus 6 over x minus 1. Wow. Then after crossing multiplication, we find this one. It is y minus 6, which is close multiplication, then it is y minus 6 is equal to 2 in bracket x minus 1. Now y minus 6 is equal to 2 in bracket x minus 1. Now, if that is the principle, if that is it, a principle. Now, opening the bracket means this number must be multiplied to both to all, to all terms which are found in the bracket. Now we have 2 times x, we have 2x. Then this one is what? 2. Now we have y minus 6 is equal to 2x minus 2. Now from there, we collect the like terms. Tunakusanya mitajo inayofanana. Buzi na buzi, we put them together. Kondo na kondo, we put them together. Means that we collect the like terms. 
And remember when you are collecting lactams, you have to remember the things. The lactams are put together, but according to the principle. If this is negative, if it taken to the other side, becomes what? Positive. And this is it's positive, if it is taken to the other side, becomes what? Negative. And that's why here we can say we have one negative set, six. Yes. Negative book, six. Yes. Is taken to the other side. Can you go to the other side? Or here. And I'm about to Now, you have y is equal to 2x minus 2 positive what? 6. We have negative 2 positive 6 is equal to positive 4. And that's why we say y is equal to 2x plus what? 4. This is an equation. This is an equation of a straight line. Because we have to your equation for a factor series. Principle ya kwanza, tumetaftia nini? Gradient. Baada kutafta gradient, ile gradient naifananisha na zile y minus y1 over x minus x1. Ambapo after there, we substitute x1 and y1 na, 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 na gradient ambao tunayo, then we close multiplication. After closing multiplication, we make y at the subject of the formula because that is the principle. Do you understand? Yes. And that's why the equation was simple at this one. B, negative 1, comma negative 3, and negative 2, comma negative 5. You get that concept? Yes. Now, an equation is obtained after you have got the slope. slope. Slope is equal to change in y over change in x. Then, y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. From this point, we have x1 and we have x2. We have y1 and we have y2. Now, if this is the case now, it is very simple for us to calculate this equation. Because we substitute what we've been given. Now, we have negative 5 minus negative 3 over negative 2 minus negative 1. Now, according to the principle, now we have negative times negative, we get positive. Negative times negative, we get we got what it? Positive. positive. Now we have negative 5, positive 3, negative 2, positive 1. <coughs> negative 5, positive 3, we have negative 2. And then negative 2, positive 1, we have negative 1. Remember, here we have negative over negative. Negative divided by negative is equal to positive. And that's why we have positive word of 2. Now, our slope is equal to 2. Our slope now is equal to 2. Remember, that is not the end of our equation. That is not the end of our question. The end of our question, or the need of our question, is to find out an equation of a straight line. Now, after, if that is the case, it is now simple, we can say, then the equation is given as, slope is equal to y minus y1 over x minus x1. It is not a principle that you must select this one. Whatever the case that you think it is possible for you, if you think that you can use this one to find it, an equation in, it's okay, no problem at all. Don't even think that uh, this is very big. Yo yo te cut ya is kya mo kwamba mimi na chagua hi na achana na hi haina shida kama ni mo chagua mimi au na mo kwamba hi na yacha na chagua hi no problem the equation will be the same same. You get that point? Yes. Now, it is from here, now it's absolute slope is equal to 2, y minus y1. y1 is negative 3, x1 is negative what? 1. This for nile ile. Kwamba, negative times negative, positive. Negative times negative, positive. Now, we have 2 is equal to 1, y plus 3, and x plus 1. Now, you close multiply. Then after closing multiplication, we have y plus 3 is equal to 2 in bracket x plus 1. Then y plus 3 is equal. 
Open in the bracket. Kufungua lini jamani? Mabano. Kufungua mabano unachukua hii mara hii. Hii mara hii. But if there is a negative, that must be considered. Do you get that point? Yes. Now, it is 2x plus what? 2. Now, collecting the like terms, we have to find out the like terms. Tukusanye mitaji na ufanyeje? Kwa kati tunakusanya mitaji na ufanana, zingatia alama. Kama umeichukua chanya, ukipeleka upanda wapina kwa nini? Hasi. Si tunelana? We have to understand that concept. And the sign the end of that number is the one that we deal with the number. Manake, positive 3 is taken to the other times, becomes negative 4. You read. Huku tunabakisa why? Kwa sababu ndo principle ya impression na mwotatiwa iwe. Are we together? And that is why we say, why is equal to 2x plus 2 minus 3? Now, why is equal to 2x minus 1? 1. So this is an impression that we've been looking for. That is an equation that we've been looking for. For this one, this one, I've got a key equation, who can we draw a point is on there. Like if there is the other way, there is the other way you can be asked to find out an equation. And let us see the other way. The other question is here. This is the other question. The other question. Now, the other question is, find the equation of a line whose Gradient is it 2 and y intercept is it 3. three. Now, finding the equation, we need the gradients. Is this so? For we to have the equation, we can need gradient. How about we have a gradient is what? 2. Now, solution slope is equal to what? To 2. So, yes, now, if that is the case, we have given y intercept. Remember, y intercept is obtained when x is equal to what? <laughs> that is a point. Kwamba, y intercept is obtained when x is equal to zero. And that is why here, y intercept is obtained when x is equal to what? To zero. Then from y intercept, we have the points. We have x is equal to zero, and if y is equal to what? Three. Now, from this point, we have x1, which is equal to 1, and we have y1 is equal to what? 3. Kwa sababu, tumambiwa, pale ambapo mstari unakatwa kwenye x. Sawa, kwenye y mstari, yani mstari unawopo uchola hivi, ukikata kwenye x, tunaita x intercept. Na ukikata kwenye y, tunaita y intercept. Na unapokata kwenye y, x is equal to 0. Na unapokata kwenye x, y is equal to 0. And that's why we say, y intercept is e 3. That is to say, y intercept is obtained when x is equal to what? To 0. Then, points we have 0, 3. It is from here we can get x, 1, and y, 1. Now we have x1 is equal to 0, y1 is equal to 3. Now from here we get something. <coughs> so now after we have got the value of x1 and the value of y1 is equal to 3, then so in order for us to find us the equation or to find out an equation, let's not find a slope, let's not find y1, let's not find y. Next one. So, Nandio man hapa, slope is equal to y minus y1, x minus x1. Now, 2, that is a slope, y minus 3, that is y1, then x minus 0, that is x1. Now, we have 2 is equal to y minus 3 over x. Now, then after closing multiplication, we have y minus 3 is equal to 2x. <coughs> now, y is equal to 2x plus what? Plus 3. Are we together? Now, from there, we have y is equal to 2x plus 3. This is an equation. What we were given here is y intercept and the applicants. We wanted to get the applicant, it is already there. But also, we wanted to get the points, it's already we have points. Where did we get this one? We have got this one because 
y intercept is obtained when x is equal to 0. Kwa hiyo sasa hiyo ndio principle ambayo tunatakiwa kuelewa. Tuko pamoja? Now that's how we do. The other concept here we have the first question here. The first question find y intercept and x intercept of the line which passes through the point C, negative 1 comma negative 2 and negative 3 comma negative 4 now to find it, the y intercept and the x intercept an equation remember in order to find the y intercept and the x intercept you have to find an equation you have to find out an equation in upade x intercept na y intercept lazima kwanza utafute nini equation sasa kutoka katika hizi point hizi mbili hapo ndipo unaweza kupata equation lakini before finding an equation you have to find out what is the gradient of the points lazima kwanza utafute nini gradients ambao ni slope now an equation is obtained after you have got the slope that is a gradient is equal to change in y over change in x. If that is the case now, change in y is equal to y2 minus y1. Change in x is equal to x2 minus x1. From the points that we have here, we have negative 1 comma negative 2 and we have negative 3 comma negative 4. These are our points that we have. It is now from here, we can find x1, here it is. We can find x2, here it is. We can find y1, here it is. And we can find y2, here it is. Now you have x1, negative 1, x2, negative 3, y1, negative 2, y2, negative 4. It is from here at this point, we substitute them here. Kutoka hapa sasa, nipo ambako tunafayenye, tunasubstitute. Manake, tunaweka tamani ya y1, tunaweka tamani ya y2, tunaweka tamani ya y ya x1, tunaweka tamani ya x2. From the formula. Now we substitute everything to the formula. It is there for we say, negative 1 minus negative 2. Negative 3 minus negative 1. Remember I've told you, there is something very important in your life you have to understand. Between two numbers, we only need one sign. Between two numbers or two terms, we need only one sign. So if now you find there are two signs, now in order to remove one of them, you multiply them. Negative times negative, positive. Positive times negative, negative. And positive times positive, you get what? Positive. Negative times negative is not negative. Now we say negative times negative, positive. Negative times negative, you get what? Positive. It is where now you get negative 4, positive 2, negative 3, positive 1. It is now you say, here you define there is negative 2, here there is negative 2. Now the difference between negative 4, positive 2 is negative what? 2. Kwa hiyo utapata negative 2 hapa na hapa utapata negative 2 ambako then when you divide them negative 2 divided by negative 2 you get 40 1 and that is why our slope now is what? Kwa hiyo we have got the slope but that is not our answer it is our intermediate answer it is the answer that we are supposed to get it it is our way to the correct answer Ni njia sasa ambayo tutakatifaleta wapi kwenye jibu. Sio jibu hilo. Lakini ili nipate sasa equation lazima nitafute gradient. Nikishamaliza kutafuta gradient ndo natafuta equation. Nikishamaliza kutafuta equation from the equation now it's where I can find y intercept and the x intercept. You get it? Now this is how we do. Now, after we have got the gradient, our gradient now is 1. This is the formula that can be used to calculate an equation. That is to say, the equation is given as slope is 
equal to y minus y1, x minus x1. Now we substitute. y1 was negative 2 and x1 was negative 1. Now, remember we have two signs between the terms. We have to remove one of them. How? By multiplying. And it is, that, it is that why we say y plus 2, x plus 1. Negative times negative is equal to positive. Negative times negative is equal to positive. And that's why we say 1 is equal to y plus 2 and x plus 1. Then, after you have written such kind of the thing, you have to, to close multiplication. You close what? Multiplication. Now, then after closing multiplication, you have y plus 2 is equal to 1 in bracket x plus what? 1. Open in bracket. That is a Bodman's principle. You open the brackets. So, after opening the brackets, means 1 times x, 1 times 1. You get y plus 2 is equal to x plus what? 1. Now, if that is the case, that is not our end. We need now to collect the like terms. Unakusanya mitadi nafanyege? Inafanana. You collect the like terms, then you put them together. If you have got gods, you put gods together. If you have got cows, you put them together. But by following the principle. By following what? The principle. If now you have got negative sign from the right hand side of the equation to the left hand side of the equation, the sign now automatically changes. Becomes what? Negative. If it is positive, becomes negative. If it is negative, becomes what? Positive. That is a principle. And this principle is not according to me. It is according to the principle of mathematics. Do you understand? And that's why here, I've taken this positive 2 to the next side. And I have written, I have written is it? Negative. Now it is negative because it was what? Positive. Now, positive 1, negative 2 is equal to negative what? Y. y. And that's why our equation now is y is equal to x minus y. Then, from the equation that you have got here, it is where now you can find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Remember, only one point. X-intercept is obtained when y is equal to 0 and y-intercept is obtained when x is equal to 0. Where there is the x, you put 0 in order to get y-intercept. Where there is y, you put 0 in order to get x-intercept. And that is what I've written here. From this equation is where we can find x-intercept and y-intercept as foreign. Y intercept is okay when x is equal to zero. zero. Means what? Where there is the x, you put it zero. zero. And that is why if I put here zero, it becomes the x is equal to zero, y is equal to zero minus what? One. Which is equal to negative one. Now the y intercept is negative one. Have you understood? Yes. But also it could be possible for me to find the x intercept in if I would have been trying to find x intercept, I would have substituted y is equal to zero. Because x intercept is obtained when y is equal to zero. Do you understand? Yes. Are we together? Yes. Now, the first equation is here. Find the equation of a line which path through points this one and the gradient in this one. From this equation, from this question, you have gradients. You have what? Gradients. And you have points. Means what? You have x1 and you have y1. So there is no need of just roaming around and doing. No, this is a principle. 
In solving these questions, you have to understand what have you given in the question? What have you given in the question? What is the need of the question? What is the purpose of giving you these points? And then you have to understand the problem of your question. The problem of the question is the need of the question. Now, from here, I have points. One comma, one. They are here. Now, from here, I have this is the X, this is the Y. That is to say, this is X1, this is Y1. Y. X1 is equal to 1, Y1 is equal to 1. Now, slope is equal to negative 4. Now, I don't need to find out the gradients. Why? Because I have all the gradients. I don't need now to find y1 and yx1 because I have already them. Tayari nazo, kwa sitani kutafta grade, kwa sitani kutafta y1 na x1. Zipo pale. Kwa naanza tu kwenye ile equation. Hii ndo equation ya, hii ndo formula kutafta equation. Ama oni slow is equal to y1 minus y, I mean y minus y1, x minus x, one. Then I substitute. Slope is negative one. Four. Negative four. Yes. Sorry. Slope is negative four. And then y minus it one. Then the x minus it one. Then what next? Closing multiplication. But I have on a close multiplication. Then after closing multiplication, close closing multiplication. Then what next? I have y1, y minus 1 is equal to negative 4 in bracket x minus 1. Remember, the most important thing here, we have this negative here outside. This negative outside will affect you. Every time that is found in the bracket. Kwayo here up a negative, it has to remember so there's no more in that. X minus x times negative 4, negative 4x. Now, this is negative times negative 1. It is what it? Positive 4. Because here there is negative times negative. Then 4 times 1. It is what? Kwa hiyo, hii negative ime atriza andai mungu zote. Ukizibisha kumila kuifikiria yo negative. Ukasema this is negative 4 again. Oh, oh, my friend. You are very long. Why it is e? negative 4 plus e? 4. Now y is equal to negative 4 x plus e? 1 plus what? 4. All these are positives. Now we have positive 5. And therefore, we can conclude by saying y is equal to negative 4 plus e? 5. Now, the most important thing to note here, our slope was negative. And you can see here it is negative 4. It is here now you can find y intercept. It is here now you can find x intercept. It is here now you can find a stop again and again. So the most important thing is to understand the principle step by step. From here, from here, then I go here. The reason to why you have got the correct answer in mathematics is the solution that you have shown. Sababu kwenye sabu kwa nini umepata mbi? Sababu inajibiwa kwa njia uliyoandika njia uliyofanya ndio inajibu kwa nini umepata mbili that is they say the reason to why you have got the correct answer in mathematics is the solution that you have shown on how to get your correct answer hadi yes. now this is the end of our period see you next time when am i going to explain what this is the general formula i mean the general equation the way things now, I'm happy to see you here. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Is it so? Yes. Now, see you next time. Ciao.